guys and welcome to Shelly's Homemade and today we're going to be making crocus. So this is what they look like. I had them cleaned, had them split down the, split down the middle um, and these um, heads off, tails on and they still had the bone and it wasn't filleted. And I had, when I got them home I cleaned them because they never ever clean off all of the gills for some reason and I always end up finding them and I thought I cleaned them all off but see this is what be on there but I took a, I took a knife and I scraped it off so I wouldn't have any more on and oh, as you can see I'm still finding them but I got most of them off there's always a lot when you go to your fishmonger and you ask them to remove all the stuff, they never ever really clean it right for me. And I always end up finding stuff. But nevertheless, getting off topic. So this one I got really, really good. So there's no scales on that. Alright. So um wipe my hands up really quickly. Um, so in this bag, in my Ziploc bag, I have a cup of cornmeal, and I have a cup of flour, so that's one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal. We're going to put some garlic powder in here, about two tablespoons of garlic powder, and just take the garlic, same garlic powder, just shake it right over top of the fish. Inside, I'm going to season the inside. Onion powder, two tablespoons. Sprinkle it on, just like that. Black pepper. Tablespoon. And just sprinkle some on. Not a lot, just enough. Obey seasoning. About two to three tablespoons of obey in that bag and just sprinkle you some more. There you go. And just shake your bag around. You know, no one wants to be eating gills when you know scales and stuff on their fish when you're trying to fry out a good fit piece of fish. Now I didn't get it filleted, I, you know, I don't, when I eat a croaker I don't like it filleted, but anything else you can fillet for me, I'll eat it just fine. A croaker, lake trout, no, I won't do that. So, get your fish in here, like this, and just get it in there, you don't even need to put this in any type of water bath or milk bath or eggs or nothing like that and look at that, that is beautiful and if you wanted to you could just do this take it out of the bag and just cover it all over and with it just like this Flip it, smash down, and do the same thing. You know, there's just a couple ways to show you how to do your fish. You know, I like the tail coated too. You know, I'm just like it, just coated all over. You know, I like a good coated fish. All right, so now I'm going to move over to the stove and get our um, fish. I mean, I'll fish frying. Alright, guys. So now let's get our fish that we have floured really good right into the pan. Now, we're only going to do one at a time and get that fish because, again, these are quite large pieces of fish. 
I'm just going to fry it up. Doesn't take long at all. Five minutes on each side. And we got some crispy, crispy fish. And when I come back, we're going to serve this fish up. All right, let's flip and see what we got. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful already on that one side? Mmm. This fish with some hot sauce, child. I'm telling you. Look at that. Mmm. Beautiful crocus, guys. Beautiful. Alright, so when we come back, you know, put this thing on the plate, throw some hot sauce on it, and see what it tastes like. Fried croca fish. Old school style fried croca fish. Oh man, this just brings back so many memories. Me going fishing, catching those crocas. And they would actually croak. That's why they call crocas. They would croak when you, you took them out the water. You would hang them out and they'd be hanging. You would just pull them off of the hook or whatever. And they'd just be croaking. You could you, the, you could see in their neck. And it just be croaking, croak, 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 croak. Oh man, it was so awesome. Oh, I love fishing. This fish brings back so many memories. So tasty. So delicious, so flaky. This is my favorite fish, guys. I'm kind of crazy. Get a little hot sauce on it. Oh, my mom used to make it with some cornmeal. That's why I'm making it like that today. You know, we catch it, she cook it. Oh, look how hot that is. Ooh. That's all right. That's all right, though. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Mm. And she always serve it. A little side of lemon. Be careful on them bones. If you don't know how to eat it with the bones, I'm telling you right now, get it filleted by your fish longer. Because I just pulled out two bones. This is some delicious fish. Hot sauce, cornbread, and squeeze the lemon to die for. Oh my goodness. So many memories on, on this fish. I'm trying to tell you, I got taken way back. Alright, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.